In 1966, the Seattle branch of the American Boeing Company began assembling a small hydrofoil boat, a costly vessel with a full displacement of only 57 tons and a price tag of $4 million. This boat, called the Tucumcari, was a hydrofoil technology test boat developed by Boeing for the U.S. military. The Tucumcari was powered by a Bristol gas turbine engine, a type of engine primarily used to power small boats and airplanes with power outputs around 4,000 horsepower. The specific model used by the Tucumcari is uncertain. The boat was propelled by water jets, and although its maximum speed of 49.1 knots was not particularly high for a hydrofoil boat, it was still impressive. The hydrofoil of the Tucumcari included a fixed hydrofoil under the bow and two retractable hydrofoils on each side. When the boat was running at high speeds, the hydrofoils helped lift the entire hull out of the water. The hydrofoils of the Tucumcari were controlled by computer technology, which was advanced for the time. The armament on the boat was simple, with a 40mm Bofors gun mounted on the bow deck, along with two 12.7mm machine guns and an 81mm mortar. This armament was comparable to that of a regular patrol boat. But this was not the main focus of the Tucumcari, as it was primarily a technology test boat designed to showcase hydrofoil technology. With only 13 crew members, including one officer, the size of the boat meant that it could not carry enough supplies, fuel, or provide sufficient crew space to be self-sustaining. However, with computer-controlled hydrofoils, the boat had a strong capability to handle harsh sea conditions. The Tucumcari was launched in 1967 and delivered to the U.S. Navy for testing in March of the following year. As a technology test boat, it participated in various exercises of the Pacific Fleet, and was deployed to Vietnam after a year at the Colorado Naval Base. It joined the Coastal Patrol Team to carry out all-weather combat missions, attacking North Vietnam's supply lines and experimenting with helicopter vertical resupply tactics. Overall, it was very successful during the Vietnam War. Upon returning to the U.S., the boat was transferred to the Atlantic Fleet and carried out activities in the Mediterranean and other regions, demonstrating the high performance of hydrofoil boats to the NATO allies. It also conducted joint exercises with countries such as Denmark. The boat's performance showed that the idea of building high-speed missile boats based on hydrofoil technology was feasible and had a significant impact on the subsequent development of the PHM-class missile boat. Back in the U.S., the Tucumcari was not idle. But unfortunately, in a November 1972 exercise, it ran aground on a reef at a speed of over 40 knots, causing significant damage to the hull and injuring several crew members. Salvaging the boat further worsened the damage, and it was eventually deemed economically unfeasible to repair, leading to its official decommissioning in 1973. The Tucumcari hydrofoil boat had a full displacement of 57 tons, a length of 21.95 meters, a width of 10.77 meters, with hydrofoils raised, a draft of 1.37 meters, and a crew of 13 people, with a maximum speed of 49.1 knots. 